Hi guys, Ash here, and this is my review of uh, the Super Nexus ROM for the Galaxy S3 i9-300. This is a Jelly Bean ROM, uh, the Super Nexus Jelly Bean. Oops, that wasn't the effect I intended to portray. Anyway, coming back. So uh, this ROM is very smooth, uh, battery, battery smooth if you can say so. Uh, and it's one of the stablest uh, Jelly Bean ROMs that I've come across for the S3. Uh, most of the features work. Uh, there are a few issues though, I'll get to it in a bit. It's an AOSP based ROM, so don't expect any touchless features, don't expect uh, uh, notification, uh, what do you say, uh, the toggles, uh, don't, e don't expect S Beam and so on. Uh, NFC works. Uh, the music, I mean, the speaker works. The call, the speakerphone works. Not broken. The call, call quality is good. No drops. Bluetooth works perfect. No issues with uh, Wi-Fi works fine too. However, uh, one little issue is uh, if you're gonna go ahead and use the hotspot facility, uh, there are some issues. You might not get connected uh, all the time. Uh, there are some issues but then again keeping an open uh, uh, disabling uh, the security and keeping an open connection solves it to an extent uh, there are there are some memory leak issues as well so the memory usage keeps increasing uh, this can be solved with a reboot here reboot now and then so I've not had to reboot more than uh, once or twice a day at max but I haven't been using the phone a lot either uh, but then again, with the reboot time on the S3 being a few seconds, uh, that shouldn't be much of a bother for anybody who wants to get uh, Jelly Bean. So yeah, as, as far as the apps go, there are no force closes. Most of the times it works. Uh, the camera occasionally does force close. And if it force closes, all you need to do is just go into the gallery and hit the camera up from here. And it opens. And uh, occasionally uh, you will have to reboot the phone for the camera and uh, there is zero shutter lag however and uh, one negative over here is that switching between the rear and front cams and vice versa takes a takes a lot of time uh, as seen with the CM10 build so that's there uh, one more thing that I liked is going into settings here uh, and you can turn on power shutter which means that you can just hit the power button to take photos that's a useful addition uh, so that's pretty much it for the camera uh, you also have support for landscape dialer uh, and there are a few little things that the developer has done as in you know uh, disable the uh, roaming for 3g and uh, install applications from uh, unknown sources uh, enabled by default these are little things but you know I kind of I like it so like I said, the, the boot time's real, fa real fast for the S3 and moreover, uh, now that I've rebooted the phone, you get the Jelly Bean uh, boot animation. And guys, when it comes to XFAT formatted micro SD cards, it does not work. Uh, you need to format them as FAT32. So uh, that might be an issue with 64 gig cards, but just Google for a solution and uh, you'll find one, so don't worry about it. As long as uh, your card is formatted FAT32, it will be detected, no issues over there. FM radio doesn't work, uh, but then again, apart from these minor niggles, everything else works, Google now works. Uh, again, cast of friends please. Uh, I've not been, I mean, I don't, f uh, the talkback option doesn't work for me and uh, it still leaves out David Schwimmer. Uh, I have voice activated, speech output to uh, always. The Play Store works, no issues. Uh, like I said, Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and uh, 3G connectivity work fine. And uh, if you guys run into any issues with 3G, you just need to go, you just need to go into your mobile networks and uh, access point names and just do a reset to default and uh, 3G works fine okay now moving on to battery life guys uh, battery life is pretty decent uh, 
this has been my battery usage. I, if you can see, there's a huge stretch where I really not use the phone, but Wi-Fi has been on all along. Uh, so the battery battery life is pretty good. Uh, not on par with the you know with the best uh, ICS ROMs out there, but definitely good for Jelly Bean. And again, guys, you have an option for Galaxy S3 settings. Uh, you can just set the colors and the notification LED stuff, the haptic feedback, the vibra vibrate intensity, and so on. Uh, and uh, apart from that, you get the def default music player. Works fine. And uh, obviously, super user access. So that's pretty much it guys, uh, most of the bloatware has been removed, you have nothing uh, nothing extra. So let me go ahead and quickly run a few benchmarks here guys, starting with uh, Quadrant Standard, running a full benchmark. So there you have it, 4689, and now running Antutu. So that's 10,410 guys. So that's pretty much it guys for the review of the Super Nexus uh, Jelly Bean ROM for the Galaxy S3 i9-300. Uh, if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. Uh, I've also included a link, uh, the link to the original thread for this ROM in the description. Uh, so guys, uh, the bottom line of this ROM is uh, this is one of the, the most stablest uh, Jelly Bean ROMs for the S3 right now. It does have its shortcomings, uh, you know, with uh, uh, with some issues with the camera, the Wi-Fi death, wi death ring, uh, the FM radio not working, and so on. Uh, X fat not supported. Uh, but then again, uh, there are a lot of questions as well. I I really like this ROM. I've been using it as a daily driver for the last uh, few days or weeks so far. Uh, so highly recommended. Uh, one more thing, little thing that I left out is uh, the tabs on the browser. It supports up to 64 tabs on this ROM. Uh, just thought I'd let you know. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I will be coming out with more videos for the S3, the Note and the One X as well, and Nexus 7 coming soon. Uh, and guys, if you do want to do me a favor, use my link to Amazon in the description. If there's anything that you can buy online, if you have, if you're looking to order something right now. Just go through my links, uh, I'll end up making a few cents to a few bucks if you end up ordering something. Doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff. Go through the links, use the search button on uh, the Amazon page that loads up. Search for whatever you want, buy it. So that is if you guys can help me out. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.